In this presentation, we're going to look at timesheets for Microsoft Dynamics Sane AV presented by Match Business Solution. First, we create timesheets, we fill them, look at the submit and approval, then we we'll go to the posting and the billing of timesheets and the archiving. To create a timesheet, let's go to the resource list and card. The resource needs to have these three fields populated. So now we can create timesheets by going on the action create timesheets. So it's week by week. Let's create two timesheets. Okay. If you have an error message at this point, have a look at the user setup and make sure that the uh, tick box timesheet um, administrator is ticked for your user. So let's go to the timesheets created. And here are the two, one for each week. Now let's go to our first timesheet and uh, fill it. So, edit timesheet. First, we select a job. So, we've got the job number list, a particular task number for this job, the job description comes by default, but we can overwrite it, and we indicate a number of hours per day of the week. Let's do a second line, but now not to a job, but to relate to a service, so it's a service management module. Service order, let's have a look at the list. Select one, and in the same way we can override the description and indicate a number of hours per day. Third possibility would be an absence. So let's say it's a sick day for eight hours. Else, if you enter the type resource, you can just enter a description. You have a few other columns like Saturday, Sunday, a total as well. If we click on activity details, that's just a card view of the line. You can have some comments for the overall timesheet. And some of the comments apply to the line. So on top of description, additional comments. You see a total per day. And once it is finished, we can submit the timesheets, all the line, or just one line here, or all, all the lines, by clicking on Submit. So on the right, we have the capacity. Let's have a look at where it's coming from. So in the resource capacity, we saw we had eight hours because it's coming from here. So per person per day. And to fill the timesheets, we could start from scratch as we did. Or alternatively, we could copy lines from previous timesheets or create lines from job planning. So Let's go to a job, to a job card, and we see a link to the job planning lines, and it would take the schedule or schedule and contract lines for the resource. So we have submitted the timesheets before. Now we we'll look at the approval process, and it is on the manager timesheet, which looks like pretty much the timesheet, 
but if we edit them, you can see the approve, reject, and reopen icons. So let's select one line and approve it. Just this one. So the status is changed to approved. We can select them all. So everything is approved now. This one approved can be reopened. So now it's back to submitted or we could also reject it. So just this line. So it would make sense after for uh, if the manager rejects this timesheet that the person would see it on uh, his uh, activities. So I think a stack would need to be created for that. Because here we don't have any indication by default of the line that has been uh, projected. So the user would just amend a line and resubmit the line again. Now let's have a look at the link with the job and the service module and how we can recharge the time spent. First note this chargeable tick box on the timesheet line and on the job the allow schedule and contract lines which is uh, charging on a time and material basis. The link between the timesheet and the job module is done through the job journal suggest line from timesheets that can be filtered by date, resource, job, job task. And here notice that the line type is blanked whereas if you want to recharge it, it needs to be schedule and contract or contract. So if you want to recharge your timesheet through a job to the job module, you need to change the line type either manually or automatically in the uh, suggest from timesheet batch. Now for the link with the um, service module. If we go back to our timesheet service line and we click on the service order, go to the card and then on the service order line we can see an icon create lines from timesheet okay and now we've got the time spent that could be chargeable timesheets can be archived so that you don't see them growing in the list to do that they need to be fully posted so if we go here we can see the posted is done for everything once it is posted we cannot reopen it and you have a link to the posting entries okay so fully posted and there is a batch move timesheet to archive we can select some, we can make a selection or everything.